And now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. Good morning and thanks for joining us. We are starting out with dry conditions across the Ozarks this morning and a couple of clouds. We've got some partly cloudy skies this morning, but again, things are dry. Not for long, though. We do have some showers and storms that are ejecting out of Nebraska and Kansas this morning, diving south and east. These get to the Ozarks here uh, within the next couple of hours, probably late this morning, early this afternoon, and we'll have these storms through lunchtime and then through part of that evening commute. Now, the atmosphere is also starting to get Really soaked, right? We've been talking about heavy rain as a threat uh, for this week. So we're starting to see some of that atmospheric moisture build near that front. So that means we could squeeze out some locally heavy rain with this front. We'll also have some heat and humidity of the day uh, to cook some of these storms. So we do have a marginal risk of severe weather for all of the Ozarks here in the green. That means one or two of these storms could be strong to severe, especially if these storms keep themselves organized into a little bit of a line. That would bring us that damaging wind threat at 60 miles per hour. Some quarter size hail is possible. And then again, we do have that localized flooding threat. So, hour by hour, we're looking at these storms getting here probably around noonish. Then we'll have these showers and storms through the lunchtime hour, and we'll keep them continuing to dive south through that evening commute. Notice the temperatures. We'll have more clouds a little bit earlier up to the north, so temperatures will be in the lower 80s there. More sunshine later in the day to the south. You have a better shot at getting to 90 degrees there. So big difference in temperatures across the Ozarks. Uh, Springfield splits the difference with some middle 80s. Couple of storms through the evening and overnight hours, and then we set up that train. Waves of showers and thunder through tomorrow. You could see by the deep reds and oranges and yellows here on the map that that would include some locally heavy rain. Temperatures uh, continue to come down, some with the cloud cover in the low to middle 80s. So, again, we're looking at these waves of storms setting up through Saturday because it looks like that front will stall just over northern Arkansas. So, that will set up some of this heavy rain north of the front in our southern Missouri counties. Still looking at about one to four inches of rain possible. Getting a closer look at these totals, you can see that one to three inch spread, especially in our southern Missouri counties. Now, we're probably going to to need a flash flood watch to be issued. The Weather Service is waiting to see where these storms wind up today uh, to see where to put that watch. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But those elevated flood threats are there as we had through Saturday. So round one brings heavy rain, gusty winds, and lightning today. We'll have the heaviest rain Thursday and Friday with some efficient rain rates and localized flooding concerns. One to four inches of rain possible there. We start drying out Sunday with isolated storms possible. 86 today, showers and storms work I'm moving in 71 overnight with scattered showers and storms. 84 tomorrow, more rounds of rain and thunder. We'll do that again on Friday. Those two days, Thursday and Friday, will be the days with some of the heaviest rain possible. A couple of scattered showers and storms on Saturday. It looks like we dry out Sunday and Monday. And look what happens as we dry out, the heat comes back. Lower 90s Sunday Ooh, and Monday. Good point.